Praise the Lord, my brothers and sisters. It's Sister Judy coming to you again this morning. It's August 29th, 2018. And I had just did a video, but the Spirit of the Lord is really, really up on me this morning. And as the Holy Spirit is dealing with me, I'm just going to do, I'm just going to continue with this video. But to, but this video that I'm going to do now, I'm going to do this one from 2 Chronicles 18. And this one is called The Heart of a King. Some, somehow the Lord is showing me what happened when the heart of a king only desire to please himself come what may he doesn't care who lose their life or what happened to anyone as long as he get the satisfaction of his desire to please himself disobeying the will of God but all he can see is what make him feel as if he has the right to do the things that he's doing. Now, I'm going to look at Second Chronicles 18. We all can read Second Chronicles 18. But I'm going to pay close attention to Ahab, Jehoshaphat, and Micaiah the prophet. And this is something I want you all to to listen to what I am going to be saying as the Holy Spirit is instructing, is giving me the instruction this morning. Now, I want you to see that Jehoshaphat was also a leader and he was also a friend of Ahab. So he went down to Ahab to visit Ahab. But as they, as both of these kings were together, they were speaking. I'm going to break it down for you people to understand was, what was taking place here. Ahab and, and Jehoshaphat were sitting down, having a conversation. And certain things the naked eyes cannot see, but when you're in the spirit, the spirit will show you. As Ahab was telling Jehoshaphat, all that was taking place around him. Deep down in Jehoshaphat's heart, he knew that there was a true prophet that was a sign to Ahab. For every leader, there is a prophet that God assigned to that leader. So every assembly have a major prophet that God placed within that assemble. And when we refrain from using the prophet that God put in your assemble, then we are going to find ourselves in trouble or we are going to find if we go out and we get out a prophet to come in, they are going to do things that are not right. Now, when I, when, when I started to look at Jehoshaphat and Ahab, I realized when Ahab told Jehoshaphat, read it, you all need to go to Second Chronicles and read it. I'm going to explain it so when you read it, you know what I'm saying. We not only to just hear things, we need some time also to chew on it and understand what God is saying. So now I'm going to break it down when I read it the way God ex explained it to me. So as Jehoshaphat and Ahab was there having communion and they were talking, they were speaking with each other and he was telling Jehoshaphat about the prophet that he had and all those false prophets came in and they were all saying the same thing because they say the things that make Ahab seems to be right. But there was something that was still troubling Jehoshaphat's spirit because he said unto Ahab isn't there a real prophet here so they know that there was a real prophet among them but Ahab respond to Jehoshaphat to say yes there is one 
but I do not like him. I'm giving it to you in my word. I do not like him because he never tell me what I want to hear. So because he's not compromising, he's going to tell him the way God is saying it. He cast that one out of the camp. They doesn't want that one in the camp. So they have all these ones that feed at Jezebel table, telling Hab what make Hab feel good. Be ye careful of those prophets that eat at Jezebel table, because they will never tell you what God want you to hear. They are gonna tell you what make you feel good as leader, and what is gonna cost you your life in the end. Now, when Ahab sent for, Je sent for Micaiah the prophet, the true prophet, even the false prophet knew that Micaiah was real. These false prophets came up to Micaiah and they were telling him, don't bother go to make any trouble. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking it in my word. Of course, I want you people to get this scripture when you read it. So I'm speaking it according to the way the Lord break it down to me. So they are telling Micaiah, don't go and cause no problem. Just say what we say to just let everything go the way Ahab wanted. So we see here when Micaiah came in and Ahab asked Micaiah, what is the word of the Lord? Declare it. And Micaiah said, as the Lord live it, even what my God said, that will I speak. That is in verse 13. And when he came to the king and said unto him, Micaiah, shall we go to Ramagedian to battle or shall I forbear? And he said, go ye up and prosper and they shall be delivered into your hand. And the king said to him, how many times shall I? tell you so even the king knew there that something was wrong because the king knew that Micaiah never speak like the other prophet so he knew now what Micaiah was saying so then now Micaiah said to him then he said I see Israel scatter upon a mountain has sheep that has no shepherd and the Lord said, these has no master. Let them return every man to his house. And the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat, that's here. Didn't I not tell you that he would not prophesy anything good unto me? Now, he know that what he was saying was true. Well, let me tell you something that is very tricky right here. Because Micaiah was a prophet that was a sign to Hayab. Hayab could understand every detail that Micaiah was saying, but Jehoshaphat did not understand everything that he was saying. And I'm going to show you how devious the spirit of Hayab is. Hayab understand when Micaiah said, I saw Sheep scattered without shepherd. He knows the shepherd was going to die that day. And this was what Ahab did. He allowed Jehoshaphat to dress like the king that day. Because he knew when the army come that day, they are coming after the king to take the king out. So Jehoshaphat dressed as the king. So when the army came to proceed, they proceed and almost kill Jehoshaphat. It is serious and dangerous when we as other leaders come in and take the robe of another king or we think we can stand in their position to go up against the true prophet of God. You'll die until Jehoshaphat cry out to say, I am not the king. That's when the troop, he's back.
And the minute that he's back, they went after the true person, which was Ahab, that almost cost Jehoshaphat his life. What I'm trying to say, God never sent another leader to help out another leader or to correct a leader. God never sent another pastor to correct another pastor. God always sent a prophet because a prophet is going to tell you what does says the Lord. And now I'm not talking about false prophet. I'm talking about prophet that say for Christ I live and for Christ I die. I do not see you. I do not hear you. I'm coming up against a spirit. And there's only two spirits, the spirit of God or the spirit of the devil. And this is where the true prophets stand up now and tell Ahab, I see sheep scattered without a shepherd. Because he's trying to tell Ahab, you are going to die because you refrain from listening to what God is saying. And you get every false prophet that you can think of to come and say a word that you think that will let you think you are in the right. Hey, shit, all of a cool, this is finished, says the Lord. Lombo shiai, you're going to hear the word of the Lord. Because God is about to move and God is about to take control. God is moving out the spirit of Ahab that entwined himself around Jezebel and hide what he does through the name of Jezebel. In the name of Jesus, let me finish it here today. But God is getting ready to expose and to let man know I, God Almighty, sit high and I watch low. It is time for my people to redeem. It is time for my people to know I've heard your cry and I'm coming. God bless each and every one that hear this message. And for those that are not saved, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus because we are coming to the closing of day where the church will be raptured. In Jesus' name, I commit myself to each and every one. Amen and amen and amen.